So here I have page number, I have the shot type, and I have the stabilizer, and then after that I have the camera movement, and then after that I have location, and then after that I have what my actor is going to be doing in that shot. So those six things set me up for success and efficiency on set. Okay. My face. My face is so unmoisturized. Okay. Uh, hey everyone, Alan Northern here giving you filmmaking tips and tricks. And today we're, I just smashed my cookies. Today we're gonna talk about my production binder. I know I told you before that it was gonna be a beat sheet video this week, but that is like a huge, <laughs> when I went through <laughs> my notes, I'm like, okay, I need a bit more time to plan that video. So um, it's not ready yet, but it will be. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. It's just a bit too ambitious of an endeavor to do in one week. So. We're gonna talk about my production binder today. And that is uh, my indie production binder that I've compiled over the years of making my mini series, The Brotherhood. That's on Amazon and iTunes right now if you wanna check it out. <clears throat> Shameless plug. <coughs> Allergies. One thing that I would recommend that you have when you start to create your indie feature or indie film or indie short is a book of ideas. A book of ideas for your film. Uh, and this actually is my master book of all kinds of different ideas that I have for basically all of the stories that I have in my brain. Um, as you can see, I don't have any shortage of any stories. I have a crap ton of films that I have not created yet that's in this book. As you can see, I was crafting my Brotherhood logo here. Um, and you know, eventually I came up with something that I liked and I used it. I like the symbolism that it had. I like that it symbolized all three brothers and it reflected the Brotherhood Agency, how each group has three members and all that stuff. Um, so really, really good idea to channel all of your ideas and to channel all of your creativity through a book. Draw pictures, write ideas, go crazy. I'm not quite sure where my draft sequence outline is for the Brotherhood, but this is the one for the roses. Um, that I have for a screenplay I wrote back in 2016. I don't know what happened to the one for the Brotherhood. I think I lost it. This is a talent release form, basically saying that your talent is, you know, agreeing to their face being on screen and it states, you know, how much they got paid or how much they're not going to get paid or, or if they're going to get paid or anything at all. It's all in here. Um, and so I know there are websites that has different, you know, there are different templates you can use and you can alter those templates and adjust it to your liking. Um, but one thing that I would recommend is to consult a lawyer so that there are no holes in your actor's release form. I know this <laughs> hole, there's a hole in here. Ah, uh, wow. One thing very quickly, your talent release forms are supposed to be signed before you start work. Probably if you're working on an indie film, you're probably not gonna have access to your actors. It's gonna be hard to get a hold of your actors after your finished production. So pro tip, get those release forms done on set, like, like be preferably before you start filming because afterwards it might be a little bit of a hassle. It was for me. Second is the synchronization and artist use license. And this is basically granting you the privilege of utilizing your film composer's music. Um, so this is basically a release stating that I paid for all of this music and all this music in this movie is mine. You basically have your film composer sign it and you put all of the files, uh, the file name, composition recording names on it, um, and you put it on all on the form. And uh, yeah, and you sign it, he signs it, also available on the internet and you can tweak it and change it to your liking as well. Basically, one thing that's very important that you create if you're working on indie film, um, I would really highly recommend it because it's sped up a lot of time in the production process. Complete a master shot list for the entire film from the beginning of the script until the end of the script. And that master shot list has uh, hopefully the day that you're gonna be filming whatever you're filming, the actors required that you need uh, on set at the time when you're filming, the props that you need on set at the time that you're filming, the makeup, the wardrobe, everything. You want to put everything that you need 
for what you're shooting when you're shooting it. And I know that sounds uh, very commonsensical, but that, that it, little things like that helps you get through the film production process a lot faster. I know it's common sense. It's like, oh, okay, I need fake blood that day. Okay, I'll bring the fake blood. But you're gonna have a thousand different things in your brain and probably you might not be able to hire a script supervisor or you know other help who you require in order to get this done you know seamlessly so this is something that i definitely recommend um so i basically have on the top i um put what day it was like if it was day one day two day three day four day five um i put the day on top of it and so this helps later when you when you are organizing the footage so I have the day, below that I have the time, below that I have how many pages I shot, um, and below that I have the characters that are involved, and below that I have the props that I need. And then below that, the episode, or the section of your script that it is. Basically, I break it up shot by shot. Below that, I say um, 7 a.m., um, apply makeup to this person. Do the, basically, this, this tells me what to do. <laughs> this basically tells you what to do and gives you the timestamp for how long you think that time should take because time is money. And we were fighting against the sunlight every single day when we were out filming. Plan out time to do every single little thing. Plan out lunch, plan out uh, when you're applying makeup, plan out when you're putting wardrobe on, plan out everything. If you wanna get fancy, which is what I did, I put down, um, I only had one camera, so I didn't need to write down what camera I was using. So I just it made it easy. I had the Panasonic GH4, very simple, very easy. Didn't need to put down what oh, I was filming with the Veracam 6X9000 or the Red Helium. No, I just had one camera. And um, one thing that's super important, put your, um, put your stabilizer by the shot that you're shooting. So if you're using a tripod, put that you're using a tripod. If you're using a uh, glide cam, put that you're using a glide cam. If you're using a steady cam, put that you're using a steady cam. If you're using a crane, put that you're using a crane. Um, because all of these things help you not think when you go on set. You want to have every thought already thought out. The only thing you want to do on set is just go. And so you wanna make your job as easy as possible and just strategize and think and plan beforehand. Go there, get the job done, boom. Okay, I know what I have to do, boom, boom, boom. I have the shot type. Shot type is super important. Like if it's a medium shot, wide shot, close-up shot, extreme close-up shot, and you can have abbreviations for them. I used CU for close-up, I used ECU for extreme close-up, I used MED for medium, and I used wide for wide since it's super it's only a four letter word and then after that i put the stabilizer for that particular uh, shot it was a glide cam and after that i put the kind of camera movement if any that was going to be involved in that shot and also put your camera people on top here like whoever's filming put that person there so here i have page number i have the shot type and i have the stabilizer and then after that i have the camera movement and then after that I have location, and then after that I have what my actor is going to be doing in that shot. So those six things set me up for success and efficiency on set. And then after that I basically rinse, wash, and repeat throughout the entire uh, rest of the thing. That's basically how I got my film done, guys. Uh, that's that. Um, so there's that. One big thing, I did obviously bring the script to, this is not the script, here it is. Okay, I did obviously bring the script. As you can see, it's battered and beaten, destroyed. I basically printed off per page four. One page on this side, one page on this side, one page on that side, one page on this. So per one page, there's four pages per full, you know, page. And then I did front and back. And that just helps you save paper, helps you save time. And most likely you don't really need to put the whole big print on one whole page because you know, I didn't see the need to do that. So that was just a, I don't know, a little quick tip that kind of helped me out. And then obviously this helped me mark off, okay, I did that scene, okay, mark it off. You'll, you'll really feel nice marking stuff off. The, uh, you know, 
So it's like a checklist. It's like, okay, I did that part of the script. Okay, and that part of the script corresponds to this part of my shot list, and you can, you know, mark it. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you found that video remotely helpful. If you found it somewhat helpful or helpful at all in any way, shape, or form, please comment below and let me know. And I'm scruffy too. Ooh, ooh. I'm like a wildebeest, I'm like a bear. I wanted to apologize again for not having that beat sheet video out, but I just wanted to get you some content so that you're still satisfied with my channel. Because I need you to be satisfied with me. I could have done a beat sheet video today, guys, but I really wanted to do it right because I think that it is extremely important to indie filmmakers especially because as they're trying to dive into the film industry, I want them to be doing, you know, doing it properly, doing it right so that, you know, you really catch people's attention when you're writing that awesome screenplay. Stay tuned. I will have that video to you guys as soon as I can. See you guys later.